mimic the rock material that's below the So I'm about to demonstrate how a Snickers bar is like a glacier. The first thing to notice about a Snickers bar is that it's long and linear, mm -hmm. just like a glacier. This is Marjorie Glacier, and this goes back 16 miles. So it's a very good analogy to a Snickers bar, which is also long and linear. The other thing to notice about it in profile view is that a Snickers bar is U-shaped. It's flat on the bottom and steep on the sides, just like a glacier. <laughs> this is almost guaranteed to make a calf here, okay? Now, let me bend the Snickers bar a little bit and you'll see it develops cracks. Those are equivalent to the crevasses, just like a glacier. <laughs> and let me do this, let me pull it apart. And when I pull this apart here, but when you pull it apart, notice that the caramel undergoes plastic flow, which is just like a glacier. <laughs> and there's more. The peanuts embedded within a Snickers bar mimic the rock material that's okay. being carried along in a glacier and will wind up as boulders, which are called glacial erratics. The other last thing I wanted to show you about the Snickers bar is that, and you have to watch this closely, watch this, it's, it's about to recede, watch. <laughs> In these ways and many more, a Snickers bar is a lot like a glacier. There you go. <laughs> There's nothing like making a glacier recede. How much do I put analogies?